Stevenson falls to Christopher Newport, Glenn Clark alongside head coach Jackie Boswell. Coach, obviously you knew you were facing a really good team today. Um, so how do you measure your team's performance knowing what you were up against? Well, I'm actually, you know, pretty excited with the 58 points that we scored. Um, you know, I give them a lot of credit. We didn't really expect them to shoot the three ball the way that they did today. And that put a lot of points on the board for them. And, and they, they did a really good job. They're a really good team. They're number three for a reason. Um, we wanted to test ourselves, challenge ourselves. I thought we saw a lot of really good things. I thought, I thought that there was a time where we could have packed it in and gave it and gave up. And, and, and for a split second, we might have put our head down, but then we picked it right back up. And so I think that's that's the part we have to focus on. Um, you know, we you know wanted to come out there, give them a game. I thought we played well in the first quarter, um, but you know we just don't see that kind of pressure all the time and stuff. So we hopefully now what this does for us is we start practicing that way. You know, because now we felt, you know, we knows what we know what it feels like and and um, but for a young team like that, I, I you know I thought the nerves got the best of us. It's a lot of turnovers, but. Um, I'm excited about some of the things I did see, yes. I wanted to talk about, you, you guys were kind of pushing there in the first quarter, maybe a little bit more than we're used to. I don't know if that was strategy against this team specifically or maybe something that perhaps you think your team can do more of and, and you might want to see more of as the season goes on. Yeah, I mean, we want to push the ball. You know, we're athletic. We got some post players that can run the floor and score from there. And, you know, we got some shooters. Uh, we knew their pressure was going to come. So I thought we rushed it. They sped us up a little bit. and um, But, you know, I thought we were playing with a little bit of adrenaline, a lot of enthusiasm, and when you play that way for those first ten minutes, uh, it's a long, it's a long next thirty. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. I know they had a lot more bodies they could turn to. It's a tough thing to do. Yeah. Um, you know, coach, you guys are only a little bit more. We'll see you again here in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. before you get into conference play. Just kind of give me, walk me through the ups, the downs. I know it's tough to be mired in a little bit of a losing streak at the moment, but how you feel about this team as you're getting closer to the point of the starting conference play? Well, I mean, I feel, I feel good. Um, I'm, I'm worried, uh, you know, I, where their self-confidence level is right now because because they're so young and that's it's self-confidence right so they got to they got to find it and that's what we just talked about in the locker room they got to find it we believe in them um i think we've been really tested in this in this preseason we've played some really good teams we walked out with a good win um you know we've been tested in every in every area and and i think I, they've proved to me that we can do some really good things. Um, they just have to believe it at this point. One player that doesn't seem to lack for confidence, a uh, young player, Amanda, who again, finishing, I, it, as a finisher more than anything, because you know there's a lot of players that have the size to do it, but just the knack for her to figure out a way to get the ball in the basket, it's really impressive. Yeah, I mean, she's doing really good. I mean, but you know, the thing is, is is just the consistency of that, and and you know, being able. I think the freshmen are just finding their way in in what practice looks like, the grind of it, um, and so. Um, being able to just show up every day now, I think, is going to be the part that we're challenging them to do. I know I ask this because you're always like worrying about basketball this time of year, mm -hmm. but I need the favorite. We've we've met most of your family over the years. Mm -hmm. Favorite Boswell family holiday tradition. Oh wow, we have so many. Okay, all right, I'll tell you. Um, so we have a gingerbread making contest nice. as a family, and then we post it on Facebook and have people actually vote for it and see who wins. Okay, who is typically like mm -hmm. Tessa? Yeah. What what is it? What is it? She just have more time than everybody else does. Uh, no, we we time it. We do it all at the table together. She's just a little bit more artistic. Um, Ellie and I tend to just like throw a few gumdrops on there and call <laughs> it a day. <laughs> um, but no, it, it's fun. My husband's really like Tony's really like that too. So they get together. But now that they have the boyfriends and stuff, we're gonna um, do a little competition. And oh, so it it's um it actually is tomorrow. Our gingerbread okay. contest is tomorrow. So we're looking forward to that. And you know, just now that everybody's older and everybody gets to come home, I just enjoy everybody being at home and that's a fun tradition to do together as adults so the important part is check out coach's facebook and make sure you get your votes in for the gingerbread contest coach always appreciate you merry christmas thanks so much as always great thank you merry christmas jackie boswell i'm glenn clark go mustangsports.tv